know. What is, what is this mouse doing? It? My mouse is like escaping for some reason. I don't know what my mouse is doing. Right, let's just go on uh, YouTube and check everything's fine. Yo, Toaster, hello. Ah, Toaster got first. Pro didn't get first. Yo, hello. You're a to <laughs> you're a toaster. <laughs> One second. I need to fix something. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to restart. I'm gonna have to restart. Unless let's check. For some reason it doesn't wanna behave. Oh, there you go. No, it's working. It's working. Hello. Yo, Brittany. Hello. Come on, keycaps. He's stubborn. I'm surprised there. Uh, these keycap pullers uh, are terrible. I wouldn't recommend these ones. But I'd recommend them from Keygem. They have their own. The proprietary one. It's really nice. How's everyone doing? Basically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, this one. Want this? This one wants to take uh, the switch with it, which I don't like. So what I'm going to do is. I'm actually going to use this one. I actually do quite like... Now, I do quite like using this one. This one, this one's a, this one's a lot nicer, I would say. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. But the issue with this one is because of the switches that I use, the housings uh, to get this round the housing sometimes it's a bit of a pain but it's a lot easier to actually um, get caps off and it not pull the switch with it because um, I noticed that sometimes uh, switches seem to uh, Depending on which hot swap, um, I think the the, the, the mass drop uses the, um, the st still the kill the kill hot swap ones. You can just pull the ones with stabs off, like the ones that have stabs. You can actually just pull off pretty pretty simply. Um, so there is that, but like the 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 bottom row you can pull off because it's not technically a standard bottom row, so you can actually just pull the caps off. Uh, I find it actually easier with low profile boards to just pull caps off with your hands. Um, I know the whole the whole aspect of um, the whole aspect of it of hey you shouldn't pull caps off with your hands, but with low profile boards, to be fair, if you can get your if you can get your finger under it um, and you don't actually pull the switch, but some some need keycap pullers. But I'm actually going to be using uh, these DSA caps for. Um, I'm actually going to be using these these DSA caps for the Alice build, which is uh, on my uh, on top of my Red Bull fridge. I will show you once I've swapped these switches around, because I'm actually using these uh, Gateron Milky Blacks uh, in my Alice build, because I want it to be stocky. And as I was saying. You can see that there, if it focuses, the uh, it just pulled uh, a switch out of the board. Um, and, like uh, that's the issue with these types of keycap pullers. Um, now, thankfully, it hasn't damaged the actual um, contact legs. 
So we'll put that over to that side. And it funny enough? Now that's a meme. It was. Come on, focus. It was an F. So an F in chat for that. I've done it. It's done it again. Like that's that's two in a row. It's done it with. And I'm not actually pulling hard. Um, it's just one of those things that uh, certain keycap pullers do quite poor. These these ones are quite nice, but the issue is you have to actually get it um, like round the actual keycap. Whereas this is just a piece of solid plastic where you can literally just push it and it will grab it. Um, but so it depends. Also depends what type of top housings you have. To be fair, like I can't get this one off. Can't get this one off for the life of me. Let's. I'm just seeing. Uh, can we? Can we? I don't want to watch live. Thank you. I just want to see how well the actual video is doing. Because I personally can't actually check unless I um, do it a different way. There we go. Let's not play back my own stream. Thank you very much. Dear me. I just, I hate these keycap holders. These ones, the, like, just, it's just these ones. It's like the standard ones that you get with uh, kits and things. Like, I do obviously have this one, and this one actually, obviously, is a, uh, it's also a Phillips, uh, Phillips head. But, I will use my actual, uh, set of, uh, like, iFixit style. iFixit style ones. It's like way late at night for me, so I don't expect a huge amount of people to watch. But this this is one of my favorite cap sets uh, that you can get, which is uh, DSA Astrolo Keys. Um, it's basically it's kind of like Sailor Moon, like um, you um, obviously it's astrology. Uh, not astronomy, it's astrology, which is, uh, I'll show you, I do have some left in the bag that are star signs, uh, find a few, there's a bunch that are star signs, um, stuff like that, it's 6pm for you, it's, um, let's have a look, where's my phone, where did I put my phone, here we go, It's there we go. 12:16 in the morning for me. So, but it's nice to chill and do basically this. Um, where's my switch puller? Got some uh, novel key creams in here um, that I'm using for a sponsored upcoming build with. Uh, uh, with with key gem themselves, so oh dear. Do I? Uh, no, I don't need a seven U. Do not need my seven U that I have. But don't forget, if uh, anyone's watching, um, things will pop up on screen, like the, the join button, because uh, like over here, uh, where is it? It is, ooh, it's right there. <laughs> It'll pop up in a moment, but there is a, there is a join uh, button, which is basically for YouTube membership, if you want that. Um, it does support me, um, it supports building keyboards, it supports like um, streaming equipment, stuff like that. Uh, also, like subscribing is free on like other platforms. Subscribing is actually free on YouTube, uh, which is still a nice commodity, to be honest. So we'll start from. We've actually lost a key, uh, key over here as well. It's right over here. Um, 
My day is really good, thank you very much. Um, I've been, uh, those are milky blacks. Um, I've been basically trying to just get my stream set up for the next few days. Um, for the simple fact is, come on, you little bugger. For the simple fact is, um, I, I really don't like this keycap puller. Um, I'm just chilling out really. Um, getting stri getting streams set up. Like this keycap puller is, uh, sorry, this uh, puller is better. You don't have to, you don't have to join. Um, subscribing is free. Ah, don't worry about it. I think we all are at the moment, especially with this virus. Oops. I prefer smooth jazz to traditional. But I'm trying to find a song that is, uh... What type of music should we play? Jazz? This is acid jazz. My favourite colour? Um, this type of pink. Uh, it's like, it's like a darker pink than this. It's, it's, get, it's in the realm of purple. We're, we're keeping with jazz. Jazz is... We like jazz here. Jazz is very jazzy. As the name would suspect. I can't actually get these out because of this, keycap, uh, this actual uh, switch puller. This switch puller is awful. We'll do, we'll do it. That we'll do it the hand way of doing this. Favorite color is red. Red is a good color. But what shade of red? Because there is like many, many, many shades of red. Instead of it, there's a snake in my boot. If I had to talk to a YouTuber, yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing special. I'm just a no. I'm, I'm just another human being, like a like a bright color red. So what we'll do is we will get all these switches out. We'll rebuild this keyboard first, um, so I can actually use it. Um, and uh, which will take a few minutes and uh, what we'll do then is we shall uh, start building the Alice <laughs> and we'll start we'll start building the Alice I just wanted to I just wanted to get this done because like these are the switches I'm using in the Alice because uh, I really like uh, Milky Blacks and there's none in stock anywhere at the moment. Seems to be just that <laughs> everywhere at the moment with uh, the virus, there's just nothing. Um, like even it's taking a while for like places like KBD fans and that to ship items. Um, and I don't particularly buy from KBD fans, I buy from like Key Gem, which is uh, one of my uh, partnerships. No, so I uh, build custom keyboards. Um, I, I also do. I also do gaming. Um, hence, if you look at my past videos, I do, I do mostly gaming, but uh, I build custom keyboards as well. It's just something to do. Um, like each. Dear me, this switch is stiff. This switch does not want to come out. It's being sticky. Can't actually. I can't actually grab it. Oh, there we go. But uh, it goes flying. But um, yeah, I just build custom keyboards because the, the, the thing is, it, it's like any other hobby. There's so much to do in it. Like you could build. 50 keyboards and all 50 keyboards are completely different. Uh, it, it can be like 
sometimes if you don't know how to solder you'll have to solder thing is this keyboard right here that I've, I'm, I've got a hold of um, is just is just a standard keyboard like you can you can pick this keyboard up for uh, I think it's 180 US dollars at the moment on drop but I usually just buy from uh, my vendors which has like keygem and uh, the key.co so those are my two partners nowadays we call things partnerships hello G1 oh is it Aloy I'm guessing it's Aloy But uh, I'll show you the keyboard that I, I, I will be building uh, in a little bit. I'll show you what we're building today. We are building, we are building this keyboard here. Uh, this is a Switch Couture Alice. Um, it has, at the moment, uh, we don't actually have the Switch Couture uh, PCB. So I'm going to be using, if we can grab it, I'm going to be using the Sneak Design um, Hot Swap PCB. Um, so this is a it, it's a stacked acrylic um, keyboard. Yeah, it's re it is really nice. Um, but I, my main keyboard I use daily um, is just a master up keyboard. For the simple fact is it's 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 kind of like. Um, Old Faithful. It's it's very easy. Thank you very much for the subscriptions. Uh, you'll see your names uh, at the top pop up. I have turned my um, alerts off. Um, so if I miss your name, um, I'm sorry, uh, but you will you will get popped up on the top. I turn my alerts off for the simple fact is it kind of crowds the page. Like it kind of crowds all of the, all of this space when you've already got sponsors and, and um, stuff on screen. It's a, it's a yeah, it, it is a very nice keyboard. It's a bit pricey, I think. Um, that the, they did. Um, you normally buy them in group buys, so like something happens, like you buy, people buy them. And then obviously they go out of stock and they don't come back for quite a while, so, you know. Uh, but I think the, the case, just the case, not the PCB, the case was like 130 US dollars. Um, I should actually um, have stuff. Did you see that? That's where I'm flying. Let's see what else there are. Modern jazz, hopeful, restless. You don't have to donate. You really don't have to donate. It's not. It's not. It's not compulsory to donate. Oops, I'm dropping everything here. Uh, which one? The previous one. The previous one that I was playing. See, some of these switches come out really easy, but some don't, and it can be. Bit of a mess. But we're gonna quickly rebuild this one because like it's just a simple hot swap. And the stab's already there. Then that's playing right now. Uh, it's your smile uh, by Wendy uh, Marcini. It's traditional jazz. So since this is a 65% uh, board, depending on which 65% board you have, uh, you'll have 67 or 68 switches, depending on... Uh, I like how I'm putting them literally on top of the uh, mouse. But depending on uh, that, you'll, you'll have 
67 or 68 keys versus like obviously like TKL which is 87 keys full sized which is 104 and then you got like uh, higher than uh, full sized sure that's hero Joe we've got time to kill you know What we'll do is we will quickly rebuild this keyboard. I just wanted to savage the um, salvage, not savage. Why did the duck get arrested? He was on quack. Oh dear. I clean up on aisle two. We've got dad jokes here. But once I get these done. Uh, like all these switches out I can quickly rebuild this because it's as simple as not soldering uh, switches back in and literally um... <laughs> oh dear you got that one wrong <laughs> few more switches to pull out. Your hand does get tired, uh, funny enough, when doing this, but I don't think I can actually... I'm not I'm not left-handed with anything, so it's a bit difficult, but we'll give it a go. Got one switch out doing it. There's two. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's not do that. This keyboard is very bright uh, when there are no switches inside it. You'll be back. Okay, no worries. Dear me, th some, some, sometimes with integrated plates like this, because uh, obviously the, this key, this this mass drop keyboard has an integrated plate. Sometimes they can be a pain in the butt. So what we shall do is we shall start placing uh, the. Um, I've got some gap. I've literally just got some speed gats that I can just put in this. I just don't like how um, the on these keyboards. One, the stabs, the stabs of these, um, the stabilizers on these keyboards are terrible and like from stock. And also, I really don't like how these switches are north facing. Um, north facing switches is kind of not the right way you should do things to be fair. Like south facing is the, is the way to go. Personally speaking, because of how certain LEDs and how certain housings work. Um, see, look, we've nearly done the top. We've nearly done the top row already. See, and then we'll get on to building the Alice. This is just. Fixing a mistake that I've made and putting milky gats in a keyboard that actually I didn't need to put in because this is just a workhorse board. I just fancied putting some new switches in, but the issue is that uh, <laughs> the issue is that I had to take them out. Well, this this one's chewed up to pieces. Uh, we'll get this done. There's the top row. There's the top row already done. So obviously the top row on a 65% board is basically all the numbers. Like here's here's escape and here's delete. I know not everyone in this stream is. Uh, a few people here are new to keyboards, so got some carpet <laughs> stock. Oh, 
was wondering where Mike went. Um, give me a second. I'll, I'm gonna see where Mike's gone. Uh, see what see what he's doing. Uh, I need to go onto YouTube. No, I don't have a keyboard plugged in, so it's a bit difficult. But hey, I'm all up for a challenge, you know. want to copy uh, get shareable link there you go yeah this is what I do I uh, I, I do st I stream um, oh dear I can't press an enter key that's gonna be really annoying haha <laughs> but yes uh, that's why this is what I do streaming uh, I do have a Facebook partnership um, over at Facebook gaming uh, which is where I do all my gaming now um, I should be wearing my Facebook gaming hoodie if I wanted to, but it's boiling in here and I'm not going to wear a hoodie in here. Oops. I'm not going to be wearing a hoodie. But uh, if you check my description, it will show you, uh, it will take you to uh, my Facebook gaming page. I became a partner at Facebook gaming uh, the other month and uh, been really enjoying it over there. What I'm actually going to be doing after I st uh, do this stream, after I finish this stream, is actually I'm going to be going to stream over there using my new, uh, my keyboard that I've literally just built. Because I think it would be fun. Are you? <laughs> I think everyone's all about gaming and things at the moment just to take their mind off stuff. I don't know if I have enough um, of these switches, to be honest, for this keyboard particularly uh, because I knew some of them, um, the actual pins get bent and I don't know if um, it should be okay. So we will find out. It should, it should be alright. Speaking of that, I don't even know if I have all the caps for uh, this keyboard anymore. Because I've got, I've got quite a, a bunch of, a few cap sets. I've got, actually right underneath me. Oops. Right underneath me, I actually have a bunch of uh, caps from a Razer keyboard. It's from in uh, a 2014 uh, Razer tournament edition thought I'd salvage the caps because what I was going to do is modify a uh, basically just modify um, that's not going to go in I think yeah so you can get this back in this one doesn't want to go in this one try down here sometimes they don't even like to go in the same section and there's no point lubing um, these uh, oh dear me. There's no point lubing uh, these speed silvers, to be honest, because they're only speed silvers. We shall see if this this doesn't seem happy. There we go. That nice audible click. It didn't seem happy at all. It didn't want to snap into place. Some switches do that. Some switches just don't want to go into place. The switch is perfectly fine, but like the tolerances for switches, because they're mass produced, like sometimes switches can be slightly bigger and won't fit in the uh, average sized keyhole. Let's see what Mike is doing. <laughs> see if he's replied to me yet. So how do you know how to do this and where do you learn? All YouTube. Literally all YouTube. 
so there's multiple types of switches. So there's like clicky switches. There, um, there are tactile switches and they are linears and uh, these are linears uh, these are linears and the ones in my box are linears um, I do have a clicky uh, some clickies over there they're, they're just like blues um, and I really don't like them <laughs> I really like linears so the difference is clickies are loud um, Clickies are very loud, um, but they don't really have a tactile bump when you press down. When you press down on a tactile, you'll press down and there'll be like a nice little click and then it'll compress fully and that's actuated. Linears are just a smooth curve when you push down, a, small, a smooth force curve when you push down. Lost the switch. Switches everywhere. But once this is rebuilt, I'm, I'm literally just rebuilding this uh, for fun so I can get my um, Milky Blacks back and my cap set back so I can actually start doing the Alice. Um, so if you be with me in a bit, I just wanted to start streaming to uh, test out this new camera angle because I used to have it more... Um, used to have it more like in front of my monitor pointing down but I actually think um, an angled side profile is a lot better I think I will pick up a face cam though um, this is using my Sony a6300 um, but I think I'll pick a face cam up so you can actually see what I'm doing and the funny stupid facial expressions that I pull Should still have. I like how Mike hasn't commented yet, even though I gave him the, the, the link. I find it funny. Sorry, Mike, you probably are watching. You're probably in bed. No doubt you. I always, when I, when I first joined the keyboard community, I found it funny that how small switches actually are. Oh, let, me, let me check what that is. Asteria Titan Tubes, thank you very much. I think someone just commented, um, sorry about the focus, someone just commented uh, on one of the Tears videos about um, key, uh, a light source that I was going to get. So that's pretty cool. Right, this is nearly done. I just need to put the caps back in, oh dear. I need to put the caps back on in a moment. Then we can start the Alice build. We should, I think, have enough. One, two, three, four. Let's find out. Are we going to have enough? We need caps lock anyways. Caps lock is very important, so you can spam memes at people. Um, I might have enough, I'm not too sure. Um, I will have to rummage around if I can't find it, the ones that I want. There's some more milky, there's actually some more milky blacks that I've just found. I think we don't, we think we've got two missing. Uh, which is fine um, because I'm not fully using this board anymore. Actually, no, I think we have one missing. We either have two or one missing, but it's fine. Oh, <laughs> there's another one gone. So I think we have. Oh, do you know what we could do just just to annoy people? We could put we could put a spare milky black in uh, because I don't think I have it on me. No, I don't. 
So what we will do, unless it's in here, because sometimes I always put spare switches in things. So what I shall do is give me a second and then we'll go try and find the other switch. hiding under a cap. There we go. Now this is going to be very bright so let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. Let's just turn that down a little bit. It gets very bright. But we've got multiple different colours. I like that one personally speaking. That one's pretty cool. I use white a lot as well. Wild Games, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. My bathroom's uh, just across from me as well. I was trying to find the extra, uh, an extra uh, key. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it at all. Nope. I like having my uh, space ball like this. It's kind of comfy, but at the same time, let's do it the proper way. Let's do it the proper way. I'm just trying to think which way do I prefer. I prefer it that way. Now, let's have a look. What I need to do is, um, I always forget. It's, it's funny, because I do so many keyboards, I forget. Key, oh goodness, this is gonna be funny. Keyboard. Uh, let's have a look. Let's, uh, I always forget. That's gonna be really annoying, sorry. Let's just turn it, uh, turn it down a little, just, just a little bit. Um. Sorry, I'm just looking for something. I am just looking for something. Right, so we shall start doing uh, all of these now. Oh well, found another Gator on Milky Black. Now the issue with uh, these is because they're um, because they are shine through, they're difficult to find out what keys want. So we're gonna have to. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four. Dear me. There we go. We're starting to get shine through caps. So um, what we shall do is just start placing them where they actually go. Sorry about using. Uh, this keyboard looks like the one of those metal bikes. <laughs> um, so, uh, escape, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. What I'm doing is I can't build this keyboard from memory. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, I'm looking at shine through caps because it's difficult in my actual lighting to see the caps themselves. What we're going to do is we're going to unplug it so I don't um, tap on all of the keys. Um, so, I actually do like uh, this key set. Um, I think Mastrop did a good, Mastrop did a good job with this colour. To be fair. Mastrop did a very nice colour. The only reason why I've got my light on is because it's actually too dark in my little area to uh, see 
So we're just using, um, we are just using the uh, light from my phone to get most of the caps on. So then I can uh, fix this. Once this is done, um, we'll show you what this looks like, but this isn't the board I'm actually building today, funny enough. Um, which one is that? Oh, that's the caps lock. See, the, ca the caps lock is strange on this board. Yo, Rodney, hello, bro. Hello. Oh, I'm dropping keycaps everywhere. It's not the, the best thing to do, personally speaking. Um, what's this? This is, this is three, so uh, that's not enter. Oh, wow, page up. Just above page down. There we go. I'm going to try and get this built super quickly so that I can just actually build the Alice and not have to deal with not having a keyboard when I want to change stuff around. I would have done this earlier today but I actually um, fancied streaming uh, for quite a while to be honest. It's kind of just chill doing this. Hello Rodney, how are you? I know I've just said that, but I don't know if you heard me. Yeah, which function's this? Okay, that's that function. The other one's the actual Windows key, but you can swap them around if you want. A hey, tab. Delete key because everyone needs a delete key. See, this one's a lot thockier than this. It's just like switch placement, board tolerances, stuff like that. Which is why you should really just lube all your switches and then, um, like, um, I can sort that out. Once this is done, I can literally actually just build a bloody Alice. ASDFG, ASDFG. F. AS. D, where's D? I've lost the D. It's not the, the best thing to be shown. Go on, where are you? The only thing I don't like is because I'm uh, the only reason why I'm using like a torch light uh, from my phone is because they are shine through keycaps. So without any light on them, you can't really see uh, the legends themselves. Uh, which is a bit of a it's a bit of a pain, but we've we've got light, so you know. Now I may have. Uh, I may have a few missing keycaps because these have been stored um, just randomly. Uh, these have been stored randomly. But hopefully we have enough. I don't think we do have all of them. But uh, what will the next time we do? I have no idea, to be honest. Um, because I, I don't usually stream here all the time. I always stream on my partnered Facebook channel, which is in uh, the description below. I don't want to do the legends first. I want to do all of the um, alphas. Oops. 
No, no, that's fine. the space bar this way. There you go. Yeah, the space bar the other way is there. It's not as nice. I prefer the, I prefer the yeah, opposite way around. It's just more comfortable. Um, not T Y. Sorry. There is a hair on my keyboard. Not a snake in my boot. Hey, you two, stay safe. few missing uh, pieces but hey it's not a keyboard that I use regularly to be fair. Right, what's that one that's that one okay oh we've got the whole we've nearly done the whole row for that one and we've got a few missing now there's the meta key which is basically just uh, Windows key, but renamed Meta. Oh dear. Run cap. <laughs> it's because there are arrows. Arrows look bloody soon. Got all this fluff from like being inside the um, drawer. So we're missing I, I think, unless, and all this is I, I, O, P, I, O, P, and then we've got uh, these ones, we've got zero right here, um, and then we, uh, next to zero, oops, put that in the wrong spot thought that was zero before. Now do we have, I think we are missing, yes we are missing um, a, ca uh, a cap, which is fine. That's not too fussed, I just want to get these caps back on here to be fair, that's all I want to do. It's one of these, I can't, I can't see them. That one, and then you want to do that one, and then you do this one. <laughs> Dear me, I forgot completely about this cap set. Hence why I'm kind of like, what the heck? So we've got uh, two caps missing, um, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not going to go on strike about that. I do know where they are, I just can't be bothered getting them right now. There you go. There's the brightness down, there's the brightness up. So now we'll start building the actual Alice. Shall right now go and uh, 
grab what I need. I actually picked up, um, I picked up something pretty cool the other day. Picked up these. Picked up some uh, palm jellies the other day. Because um, someone was selling them at a uh, very good non, very good non aftermarket price to be fair. Like not crazy aftermarket price, which I find is is actually fantastic to be honest. So what we need to do, all these things over here. Uh, yeah, we don't need those LEDs for this, Alice, because I'm not doing a background. Um, not really doing that for this, Alice, to be honest. I don't fancy doing that for this Alice. So this is a Switch Couture Alice. Um, I'm using the Sneak Design uh, Kill Hot Swap uh, board. Uh, let's see if we can get that in focus. There you go. There's the Sneak Box logo. I'm trying not to get a shine on it. But there you go, so we're going to start building this. There we go. Now, people build these Alice's different. And no, no joke, people build these Alice's different. For the simple fact is, people put plates in different areas. Like, obviously you put your plate next, and then you put this, and then you put that. But people have been doing custom plates for like these, and they're actually fantastic, the custom plates that I've seen, personally. Um, they are absolutely fantastic. I think what I'm gonna do first is, just to get everything correct, I am going to um, get the extra, get the extras from out of here. There's, there's the uh, cute little, and have you seen the, have you seen what else you get with this uh, Swiss Couture? You get um, basically a key ring. Let it focus. There we go. Come on. It's because it's frosted. But you get, there you go. You get like a nice, cute little key ring. Um, and you get obviously the little key ring holder. Um, but what I want to do is I want to. Oh dear, that was a bad mistake. How many sc extra screws do I have? I'm not too sure how many extra screws I do have. But what we can do, I think. If I lift my monitor up, I think there are, no, that is not an extra, and that's not an extra. I do have extra um, stuff behind my keyboard, uh, so behind me, that I usually have. So we will have to see how much... Uh, extras we have there's four five six seven eight this is eight I don't want to do the feet um, I'm not really a fan on an Alice of doing feet um, I do have feet in that drawer um, but I'm not too sure I want to do extra feet um, I also have for my previous um, Alice PCB, I had underglow, so I had um, one of the extra frosted base plates for it. But I decided against it this time around because one, um, there wasn't any RGB ones in stock. Two, I 
don't want to start messing around soldering this uh, keyboard and like this PCB in particular uh, because they ran out so quickly that it was difficult to get my uh, hand on it. It was very difficult to get my hand on it. I'm trying to uh, not use my screwdriver set. For the simple fact is, um, kind of don't want to. It's it, it it's difficult. Um, on I think these aren't. Ooh, oh dear, don't want that one. Think these aren't um, polycarbonate screws. These are um, these are just acrylic screws. So they they are pretty delicate. Um, these screws are pretty delicate. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven screws, so I'll find the other one. It'll be around somewhere. This was this build was supposed to happen a while ago. Uh, it just never did. There we go. So. Let's get this uh, funky plate installed. Uh, not the actual plate plate, but the uh, the plate holder. Get this plate holder installed. So that's that. We'll have to move that one. Uh, that one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. So we'll have to move this a little bit. Lord Shrek. <laughs> Thank you very much for the subscription. There we go. Let me get this in there, and then we can get the um, plate on top. Like so. So, that's how it's going to go. Right there. So I need to find my stabs. Uh, I can't remember exactly where the stabs are on this one because depending on what Alice board you use um, depends on which stabs you use uh, like how many um, so I have a bunch here um, I've got some um, I've got some Duroc Smokies in here. They're, a lot of them, are pre, a lot of them in here are actually pre-built um, and pre-semi-lubed. They're not full. They're like some of these ones aren't fully lubed in here, um, but it should be all right. So we want. What size screw should we like? What size screwdriver do we need? I think actually probably the smallest one. Probably speaking, the smallest one. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing so. Let's see if we can find a. Because not all of these actually. I don't have, sadly, all of the screws for these ones. I only have some, so we'll have to see. Oh, this one's a Phillips. Some use flat, some use Phillips. I think this is the smallest Phillips I have. Which is a bit too small. Let's go with size up. There we go. 
sadly, uh, these tips aren't, like, I really need to get, um, I re what I really need to do is I need to get uh, magnetic tips for my screwdrivers. One can wish. One can always a wish. Oh, get back in. It's the thing about stamps, they just, they're not very, right. sometimes they're just, uh, Smacking uh, my uh, keyboard, uh, like, against the, uh... Sometimes I just can't how small these screws are. I always like to start them off uh, using them by hand. Uh, but the simple fact is, if you start doing the screwdriver and you try, you try and fiddle with the screwdriver, you can just slip very easily. Slip. But, uh, get some of these smoky stamps done. I actually really like um, these. Uh, these Duroc Smokies, they were hard to get actually uh, in this current climate. They were pretty hard to get. And you got bored. I think these are the, these are uh, V2s as well because they got like these stabs are V2s because uh, they've got the extra section to hold in. This stab won't go in the hole. Oh, there we go. Welcome back. Let's see if I can, I can build it this way if I wanted to, but I'm kind of not being careful at that point. I like doing everything like like this. I like always doing it first, hand like just finding it with your uh, with your finger first, and uh, and then using it as a pilot. It's like a pilot screw. I think these stabs, this stab is set up wrong. Not really. Let's see if we can get this stab to fully work. I don't think I don't think this stab uh, itself is actually going to work. Oh, there we go. It was the plastic. One of the plastic pins didn't go in. Sometimes I give up on uh, finding 
little screws everywhere. That's why I buy I buy a bunch of extra screws everywhere. Like everywhere I go. Uh, for, for like keyboard stuff or just in general. Because I know if I build something, take something apart or whatever. Like this one doesn't even want to go in. But if I build something, take something apart, I always like having extra screws of said screw, just in case. And this one doesn't want to go in properly. Like it's actually just come back out. So I'm, not ha I'm actually not happy with this stabilizer itself. So it's not being very helpful. Push it in and keep it in. Oh dear. Who wants something? My phone's going up. My phone's blowing up. God, how old does that mean now? Like, how old is actually that mean? It's at least three years old. Let me check on this plate. Because each, um, each one's different. So we need another, th we need another three. Frivolous Fox is live. Uh, quite fantastic ASMR. Ah, bugger. Which one is this for? Let's see if we can figure it out. So I need it on. had it the right way I just sometimes uh, they go the opposite direction so I was just making sure yeah probably uh, two, two, two million years ago Sometimes these stamps, just stamps in general, sometimes just not. They don't like to play ball. But sometimes, like this one, likes to play ball. It's not a very flattering angle of me, but I'm not the thinnest person in the world. Watching um, Keanu Reeves just uh, for the few last few days because uh, the whole um, Cyberpunk trailer came out and I was like, oh god, Keanu Reeves is in it. So I was just like, oh, I should watch Keanu Reeves. So I've just I decided to rewatch John Wick. I'm on John Wick two at the moment, um, and I was actually watching him do his Taran tactical stuff. Um, which if you don't know what Taran Tactical is, Taran Tactical, um, Taran, the owner, um, owns a tactical um, pistol, assault rifle, course, um, 
and he puts celebrities and himself and like it's like speed shooting as well that type of thing he basically puts celebrities and that through their paces when doing movies and stuff like that it's not just celebrities These ones, they're like, these ones aren't lubed, um, because I was gonna wait, because I don't want these actual ones in this build. I was gonna use, um, some different stamps, actually. But what I'm gonna do, get this plate again, I just want to make sure exactly which holes, because depending on which Alice you have, Depends on where you put the uh, uh, the actual stamps. I feel like this one's now upside down. Deliberate. Sometimes if you're actually careful, uh, it'll work, but sometimes if you're a bit impatient, they don't like to sit fully flush all the time, um, which is one of those things that you just have to kind of take with a pinch of salt, don't get annoyed and just work through it. It's why I like listening to jazz music while building keyboards because one building keyboards can be quite tedious uh, at times two you know depending on what your tastes are music affects your mood like if i'm playing an fps game um I like quite hype, EDM, uh, acid techno, um, but like while doing stuff like this it's not really the perfect thing to, uh, to do and that isn't fully in. This isn't fully in. I don't know if you heard that audible click, but basically that was it clicking in to the actual, uh, oops, the amount of times I've lost these golden screws, I would have enough gold to, I was going to say make a gold, uh, like a golden uh, block, but that's like, that's nine ingots. And to get one ingot, you need nine golden nuggets. Hear me. It's because this one isn't fully in. But it won't be fully in. See if I can uh, Did someone hit a bum note there? Like Come on 
couldn't tell. I actually can't get this screw. It's a screw that I can't actually get in. Oops. See if I can screw it in from this side, like this. I just didn't want to do that because I don't like not having hold of the stab because sometimes if you don't have hold of the actual stab it can come apart so there we go we've got we've got four of the uh, the five stabs done like as you can see you've got four of the five stabs done so what else uh, we need this last stab. I think uh, we'll use this one. There's that one. I can't. One of them is damaged, sadly, uh, from like being posted. Thankfully, I got the f um, the uh, five six uh, five hold on. five six seven. I think there should be another one over here. I think we've got uh, eight all together. I think it was an eight two U and a one seven U. So I bought it because one, the Alice needs the uh, five. Like I always buy the un unless I need the six point two five U. Um, I will always buy the extra one, uh, like the seven, for the simple fact is that you get more stabs. Because you get you get more stabs, and it's not that much extra, to be fair. Seven you in that box over there, um, near where the screwdriver set is. See if I can do this one on this. Since this is the last one, it should be fairly equal. So it shouldn't. I say shouldn't. I was going to say it shouldn't fall out, but it did. So glad it's focusing on my arm at the moment. But uh, what I will do is, once this is done, I can actually start uh, building fully the, the the keyboard and put all the switches in. Now these milky blacks, I did lube a while ago, I think. I will open one up and have a look to see what they're like. There's that. So we need, where is it? This uh, this acrylic piece here. Don't think it matters what side it's on. I'm not doing the feet, so that's fine. But here's the here's the PCB. Like that's the that's with all the uh, Duroc stabs on it. So we need uh, it is this plate, which is the actual plate. What I'll do once I put this actual plate on, I will kindly tidy up. I think. Oops. 
I'm an idiot. It's the other way around. I was looking at the sockets saying, wait, what? These don't line up. It's because I'm not paying attention. There we go. What we'll do is we'll tidy all these stamps up. Always good to have a nice little tidy work area. This, this mat, this mouse mat that I use is literally just a HyperX um, mat that I've been using uh, for the simple fact is it's just a mouse mat that I don't mind if it gets smudged like that the smudges over here like this is more like a work mat for me uh, than anything else um, I do have um, I, I, I ordered from um, Key dot company. Um, I joined the the comfy uh, series uh, to get a, a nice cute mouse mat. Um, and since we are partners, I did get a slight discount on that. Um, just don't want to forget that. Obviously, <clears throat> so we've got Key Gem here. Uh, I am partnered with them, and also um, over here. Uh, with the key.co, uh, okay, the key company as we all call it. Um, I am partnered with them as well. So, um, you can use my code RATH on Keygem for a nice discount on all basically your keyboard needs switches, lube, brushes, um, PCBs, plates, like all, all sorts of things. Uh, so if you go on the first link in my description, it will literally have uh, the key gem store. So we can start by putting these switches in and they're self facing. Uh, thankfully, they're self facing. So. I did cut the legs, uh, the leg stems off these. Um, so, don't know if you can see. You get obviously the little contact pins. You can see the little contact pins on something like um, the Novel Key creams. You get. An extra two little legs which are basically called five pin uh, we go you can call them plate mount or PCB mount but um, that usually it's just easier saying five pin or three pin now yo toaster hello so obviously you get five pin and three pin now this this keyboard here is a three pin even though it's hot swap but this is a five pin hot swap, so it can use PCB mounted and plate mounted um, like switches. But this doesn't, because the, I think it's because this has an integrated plate as well. That could be one of said reasons. So we're gonna put these milky black, uh, milky blacks in it. Um, welcome back, toaster. Do the important keys first, I think. Like, obviously, don't think. See, this this one has a bent pin. So what I do? Oops, sorry about the noise. What I do if I have a bent pin? I usually use um like little tweezers. Little tweezers, and then usually you can just bend it back. But be careful when you bend the back because obviously it's a small piece of metal that is pretty fragile. I need to down. I need to re-download the VIA software. So I will download the VIA software because I haven't downloaded it in a while. Uh, Linux, Mac, latest. So 
where's the Windows one? 1.31 for Windows. So we'll let that download. Now I do have, at the moment, I think, my internet speed at the moment because it changes all the time um, due to being LTE. Um, it's already downloaded. There you go. So that software is downloaded. Uh, I forgot I didn't have VIA because I noticed um, because I have uh, Windows protected your PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run anyways. Thank you. So I'm just going to install VIA for a second. Oops. Don't know what happened there. Bitrate is dropped for some reason, so give me a moment. I'm wondering what is happening. Seems to be capped. Don't know why. But we'll, we'll see what's happening. We shall wait. See what's happening. If I continue. I wonder why it's got limited ads. It's strange. I have limited ads apparently on this uh, stream. I don't know why, but uh, we'll uh, see what's happening. Seeing what is happening uh, with this before I fully continue the build, just to make sure it's something not awful. Um, you know? You know? It looks Personally speaking, it looks fine, so I'm just wondering what's happening to you. I am listening back, sorry. Shouldn't be listening to it. We will, shall just wait, Uno Momento. It looks fine, so we shall continue, even though it's only um, the bit rate's a bit lower. I'm not too sure what's happened, um, personally speaking. Um, it doesn't usually do this. Um, but for some reason, my bit rate is um, quite low. I'm just wondering why. 
But what we'll do is we, we, we shall continue for now. Shall put some of this away. Toaster, welcome back. Some of these switches, I don't know what has happened to them, but uh, like some, like some of these pins might actually not be recoverable because of how bad they are. But nothing, good old tweezers can't kind of sort out as such. I've noticed tweezers are actually pretty good at doing um, fixing things. Just like squeeze, just like squeezing it. Like squeezing it. You can also use um, pliers. Um, oh, my pliers aren't in this tool set. My pliers are in the, the, my other tool set. What we'll do is we shall leave this aside for now. See if we can fix that one. Because it's nice not to have bent switches. I'm still finding, I've noticed, I'm still finding that uh, throughout um, clipping the, the little extra legs for the like PC beam and the uh, plate mount, that um, I have noticed that I'm still finding to this day little pieces of plastic legs <laughs> sprawled across my floor. Um, you hoover them. Then all of a sudden, you'll step on one the next day and go, I thought I hoovered the room, you did. I don't know what my bitrate is doing, but the only thing I can do is just leave it because I can't restart. But we're not doing anything high intensity. I literally just sat here building the, the keyboard. So I normally stream it. Um, I normally stream it um, around about 7,000 bit rate, 720p for like high FPS stuff. Uh, but for like stuff like this, I do 720p, uh, sorry, I do 1080p, 60, I do 60 FPS for everything, but I, I normally do uh, 1080p 7000 bit rate. The reason why I do lower uh, lower resolution, but higher bit rate at, at 720p, it's actually better for streaming uh, games if you do that.
Some of these uh, milky blacks have noticed that uh, their actual um, contacts, um, some of them are like atrociously uh, bent. But I've had them in this board for six months, I would say. Maybe six months? Not too sure. Um, I can't remember what I bought them. Let, let, let's say three to six months have had them in that board. I can't remember how bad they were when I put them in. The issue with putting like switches in boards and taking them out all the time. It, all it takes is like you to knock the switch and it's bent the pins. But it's def it, nowadays it's not like... Like the, how much were these? These were for a pack of 70, like like for 70, because they all come in packs of 10 technically. Um, but for 70 switches, it was like 30, 35 dollars plus shipping, so 40 dollars for for a switch that is ultimately um, just wondering where this one's going. Is it, is it there? Yes. It's going on this side. Because there is... Um, over here. There's different places to put it depending on... What switch you get and, and, and how you put it in. Um, now, I can't remember what the Alice layout is like. I know there's two Bs, but I can't remember. So I'm going to have to Google that in a second. Um, I'll actually do that right now. Look at this Alice PCB layout, because I, I literally can't remember, to be fair. It's a standard. Well, most of them are standards, depending on uh, what you do. Right. We, sh we shall need some extras, though, because some of my extras are... Um, like, I don't have the ortholinear kit and stuff. Um, so, obviously, all I needed was... Um, what did I buy for the Astrology Keys? Like, Astro, Astro Keys. I can't remember. There wasn't a the base bar set. No, there wasn't a space bar set. So you, I don't think there was anyways, so you had to buy, oh dear, that, that one doesn't even, this one doesn't even have an extra leg, so that one, that, that switch is like redundant. Should have enough, since this is a 60% and not a 65. That one's severely bent. slightly happier jazz like this is like depressing jazz like. that's better something like this
Oh, this one's so cool. It's, uh, this one can't have that. Because it's not straight enough. There we go. Now the fun part. Where do I put the fucking keys? Ah, I know where they're going. So. Is this the frosted top? No, this isn't the frosted top. Uh, this is. So what we'll do is we'll screw it together first. And then we'll put the... And then what we'll do is we'll put the, the caps on. get the sizing in so it doesn't slip around that's the issue with acrylic found the, the issue with acrylic um, screws is that they're very very acrylic screws are very slippery Like, I'm talking acrylic screws are extremely simple. Like they're not nice to actually um, mess around with. We'll try. We'll do the four corners. I think first. Maybe slightly easier. Like just slightly easier. Oops. I knocked a switch out so my yes I did. Which I didn't push it in. I didn't push it in hard enough. Sometimes they do just pop out. I really hate acrylic screws. It's one of one of my like it's one of my um hates about these like I think it would be better if you got like metal screws and then you got a, a, acrylic um, little acrylic stoppers that go on top so you can't see the screws at all. Acrylic, uh, like acrylic um, screws are very slippery, which I'm personally just not a fan of. But some people I know um, really, really like uh, acrylic switches. Uh, sorry, acrylic, acrylic um, screws. The thing about acrylic screws as well, they get chewed up, which I'm not really a fan of. AJSR player, thank you very much for subscribing. Not too sure what's up with my bit rip, but we're kind of just rolling with it. Can't stop and restart. So what, what, whatever the bit rate is, for now it's going to have to stay there. But it's a constant bit, right? So I, I don't know what's happened. I 
can't get this screwing properly because this is now too small but then if I go to the bigger one it's slightly too big the sizing for these screws is a bit off personally all four corners first and then uh, unless we, we could do all of them to be honest it doesn't make a difference uh, to be fair it doesn't actually make a difference so we'll do all of them and then it's built so I don't have to do just don't have to finish it like that So we're missing, we're actually missing two screws, sadly. So we may, yes, we are missing two, unless, no, we're not. Ha! They just didn't fully come out the bag. So there's one. That's done. So, uh, yeah, we can put those on top of the creams. Right, so let's just move. Got a crappy SMD connector over there. Don't even use that. So, now, let's choose some of these. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't need this. Okay, let's just like, there we go. And I don't need the 70 either. But what we shall do is we shall do this just because it's easier um, than picking through them. I should have them in a box, uh, but like like an actual tray, but um, I don't have any trays left. ran out of trays. So what we're gonna do first, I think, is a 69. It's, it's not really a six. It's not really a 69. Um, it's actually it goes that way or that way. I can't remember. Um, but it's just a joke. So I think um, this one's a 2.25U. And then that one is a um, 2.75. But we'll have to check. I did originally, I think, no, that's too small. We'll have to, we'll have to have a look. Can't, is that the larger one or is this the smaller one? the ways
can't remember where which one goes where. Hey, Rodney. I can't remember which one goes where because I had a bunch. Um, but I'm not too sure. This uh, disabled karma. Welcome. I think, if I'm not too, if I'm not too mistaken, um, I have that on there. I had them like that last time. I have to remember a lot of these and where and what I wanted. Um, but the best thing is because they're keycaps you can change where keycaps go so it's not like you're stuck just using the uh, the same all the time you know um, so we're gonna do numbers in a second one uh, two three four two three four sorry I'm, my my head's mile away from what I just clicked there Four, five, six, seven. They're all, these white alphas get all over the place. Is that a six or is that a nine? That is a six. That looks like a six, but I could be mistaken. Nope, it's a nine. No, it's a six. I'm not too sure. <laughs> My eyesight and telling um, numbers apart from uh, six and nine with certain cap sets is uh, questionable. Question. Like if these were in trays, it would have been so much easier. But I only I don't have any trays left. I used my last tray the other day for some jelly pombs. Uh, like some palm jellies that I bought. Um, so the six and nine is the exact same. So actually, it doesn't matter <laughs> which one I picked both the same to find funny Trying to find some of the uh, the, the numbers. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, you know what? I'm doing this wrong. My mistake. You know why I'm doing this wrong? And everyone's going to be shouting at me uh, once this video comes out. I'm using the numpad numbers. My mind is uh, broken right now. I can't believe I'm, I can't believe you've done this. Um, me neither, to be honest. I've been using the numpad numbers. I was going to say because when I originally picked them out, uh, they were pink. So uh, and had lettering on, like the actual um, exclamation mark um, stuff like that. So I am extremely sorry. That, that just happened. I was wondering why I couldn't find any other any other numbers in that. My uh, my head's all over the place. <laughs> That's why I was wondering about the, the 6 and 9. I was a bit confused at why the 6 and 9 was exactly the same. I'm trying to find my um, other cap puller. Because this, uh, this cap puller isn't fantastic on this board because it pulls the switches out but the other one doesn't but what I'll do is I'll try not make that mistake again that was a terrible mistake by me I was wondering why uh, the numbers were white like the the actual legends were white I was like wait what this is a this is a pink uh, pink and purple cap set mainly um, with white um alphas i'm like why why are these alphas uh, why are these numbers white you know so that is my fault well those two are the same i need those oh <laughs> dropping everything Three, four, five. That that looks a lot nicer now, actually. Uh, for the simple fact is that um, well, that's it. That's the one that I need. Yeah, for that. That's the one that I need for that. I think. And then that's the one that I need. Uh, not that one. The other one. I need this one for the other space bar. Yes, it is. issue is these this cap set pulls switches out i've noticed that this cap set pulls switches out and I, I keep saying that like everything pulls switches out but the issue is that some cap sets pull switches out some key cap pullers pull switches out um and some pcbs don't hold switches properly to be fair so there's multiple things that can happen. This one needs a keycap puller because it's inside. But it'll <laughs> it'll pull the switch out, so I wouldn't worry. So that was a terrible mistake that I just made. But it is 2 a.m. Listening to some jazz music. I don't know if it needs to be louder. Because it all depends on the actual jazz. But I like... Happy Busy Jazz. Oh, that's a bit too much. Try this.
Can we get it like, this is like too chill. Okay, we got Christmas jazz. Uh -huh. And there's seven. Those are the two, like, are the same. Those are the two are the same. Where are thou? This is stamped caps lock over there that I don't need either. There's number one. What can I think that should be escape? I think. Maybe? We shall think about what escape should be actually. Where's number two? Oops. Don't want modern jazz. Stop giving me modern jazz. No, traditional, traditional, modern, modern, modern. Acid. Yeah. Acid jazz is pretty funky. Right, there's number two. So we've got most of the uh, numbers. Obviously then we've got the, the plus minus uh, as well, don't forget. So we've got this and the plus minus. Uh, which, I don't know where the plus minus, there it is. Sorry, the plus minus. Sorry, the plus equals sign. What can we do for this? Can we do this? Could we do that? Do like a full... A full pop row? Or can we do it like that? Since we've got two yellows... Do, since we've already got two yellows down here... So... Since we've got two yellows at the bottom, should we do a yellow at this top and a yellow at this top as well? Because I do have... What should I do? What I can do is build it and then we can rearrange a few caps if we need to. So. Um. What size is that? I'm not too sure what size this has to be. Uh, personally speaking, I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's that, I'm guessing it's that size. Um, what we'll do is we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll, do a, we'll try. We'll try and keep a pink. I think that is the right size. I think any, any bigger, um, it's not going to work. I'm too sure. We shall have to, uh, we'll have to look at the actual cap sizes in a minute. Uh, where's, I need all the legends, right? Oh, like the alphas, sorry. Well, get rid of those. This will start taping, taking form very quickly once I start putting the uh, actual caps in. Except 
you lose because you know where all your flipping pieces are. Yeah, that's, that is the right, that is the right size cap. The QWE. Where's R? Where is R? Am I blind? T and then Y and then a U, then a P. I O Y I Y I <laughs> Y I Sorry. That was just that I've just distracted myself. Obviously, it's not why I, but the the, the joke of uh, like Sunderland Newcastle jokes there. Um, sorry, where's the U? What jazz is this? Oh, it's the it's. Uh, Christmas smooth jazz. Don't really want to listen to Christmas jazz right now. You know? Um, try and find where you is. There it is. Then I is an O, then P. Now you sure it's an O, not a zero? <laughs> P, 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 P. That's very thocky, isn't it? I do like how socky that is. Uh, that one. is nice see I like I, I, I like this jazz this this type of jazz is nice down that I put at the top but it should do for now I put this one in the wrong hole I think yes I did because um, Alice layout has multiple types of layouts Bloody hell, that switch went bloody miles! So we'll put it in this one. There we go. Put 
it in the opposite side. Um, and then this should... There you go. That should fit in nicely. So we, we, just ha we just have to move things around, you know? It's always about moving stuff around and making sure everything's good, you know? Right, so um, WASD. So obviously we need the S and the D. S. And then I saw the D two seconds ago. There it is. Obviously F to pay respects. And then G. Try to get this bloody cap on. There we go. That's the G. H J K. Obviously, uh, we have uh, the. Uh, is that the right way around? Oops. No, because it needs to be shifted. It's that. Um, and then, obviously, don't forget we got that. Um, and then we need enter. So, is enter gonna be. Think another another one of these because obviously it's got stabs and it needs to have three pins. I can actually get it on. Proving difficult. This this one's touching. I will have to uh, fix. I will have to fix that. Um, because it, can you hear it? It rattles. I'll um. What I'll do is I will um. Add some of the shrink wrap. The shrink heat wrap, uh, which is coming uh, from QBT, uh, sorry, QBT fans, uh, from uh, Key Gem in the next few days. That's what I will do. Um, I just don't have any left. I used it on my other one. It's not too bad. Um, you can definitely hear it rattle. Like, hold on. Let's see if we can do this. You can actually hear it rattle, but once once it's got like the shrink and it's lubed properly, you wouldn't. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about that to be honest. Um. What else? Um. Okay. Obviously, where's Z? Where is Z? Well, there's X and there's C, so we can do, uh, we can do uh, ZXC. We've got ZXC done. Um, let's see, we've got. Uh, let's see, we've got then C, V, then B. I don't have. So this cap set doesn't come with a double B. 
uh, for Alice or like you can buy like ergo layouts um, that actually carry a double B but these don't actually have a double B so we're gonna have to put um, just a planet uh, the planet Saturn right there this would actually really go this kind of set would go really well on the Saturn 60 which I'm tempted to get in the next few days that rattle actually is getting to me as annoying um, there's not much I can do about that give me a second there seems to be an issue with streaming See if it picks up because there's a really it seems to be having a right a real issue issues because I can't I can't tell if there's any issues it's saying this issue is my end but I can't see any <laughs> I'm a bit confused because it says this it says there's an issue on my end but watching it back there isn't any issue Say it for me, it's saying there's an issue, but if everything's fine, everything's fine. I can't, like, I can't just keep stopping and checking because it takes away from the stream. Um, so what I was looking at was, um, right, so we got, uh, is that oops. Is this one left or right? So that's um that's left. That's right. We've, ne we've nearly done anyways. Okay. Thank you very much for checking. Um I do appreciate it. Because I can't keep stopping and checking things. Mm, that be that one, no it wouldn't. That would be that. Uh, no, that's too big of a gap. Uh, see, this cap keycap puller doesn't work for that. Try and get it without pulling the switch out. So, um, it's for shift. So I don't know. Is this small? Is that more small? This one's the exact same. This one's the exact same size. That one's slightly bigger. Is this one slightly bigger? This is slightly smaller. We got another one of those. Yes, we do. Since this is slightly smaller, that's gonna look terrible. So that is the right size. That should be the right size then. Um. 
because this this is the one you in here what are you gonna use? This is the one you so That just doesn't seem right to me using that. I think there's a with this this one. Um I'm not too sure. That's slightly bigger, no, that's the same, that's the same. This one's slightly bigger, I think. No, this one's slightly bigger. Yeah, there you go. It's the only key that I have for that size. because uh, the other one's taken. Yes, we need the shift, but I think the shift is the... the it's just no... I don't have a pink for that, so it's going to have to be that. We'll do the space... We'll do the space bars last. Right, so we've got a few more keys to do. We got control dome, obviously we need alt. Um, this actually, I think, if I remember correctly, it was how I did it originally was this. Because being equal is very handy. It's 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 like being it being uniform on this is very handy. Um, I'm always gonna do that, but I wanted a pink one, but I don't think I got a pink one. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually should make all these moons just so they're all even. We'll fix the space bars in a, in a day or so. Right, so here we go. Um, that acrylic is fully set. Um, I don't know. So what we'll do is we will tidy up and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll plug it in. So we shall tidy up. Do we need it to change anything? I don't think so. I quite like it the way it is actually. I think I might put another purple here instead. Instead of a pink, we might put another purple here instead. See what a, see what the other like another purple would look like instead of a pink. Pull switches. <laughs> At times I pulled switches today. Okay, I think I think that looks slightly better, being like uniform with the, the, the purple on the side. I actually think that looks that looks better, personally speaking. And what I will do is I will get um I shall get a tray for these. Because I would like to display these in a tree. I'm waiting to get DSA Magic Girl as well, which uh, the new group buy is the uh, 11th of the 11th. So the 11th of November is, the, is their next group buy. Um, 
She's now bringing out um, DSA Magic Girl Dark, which is like a, 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 a black and purple version with like purple legends. Um, it's like novelties and, 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 and uh, alphas and stuff like that, which looks crazy. I'm just gonna put the, the uh, actually no. See, here's the stepped caps lock, but you can't really use a stepped caps lock on this um, because of how the uh, area, like the extra surface areas against. See, I could do that. Or that. I want a top pink row apart from the extra delete and function keys. I could have put the 69 somewhere, but I think we're gonna not do that. <laughs> we'll do a bit of tidying up. Put some of my tools away. We'll put we'll put some we'll put the other switches and we'll put some of these actually no what we'll do is we'll put these back in here first. Um this the switch couture bag. See like these these little ones, these little screws here, hopefully it'll focus. These um are the clear acrylic version. Those are for the uh, one for the feet of the uh, frosted and the frosted back plate because you can get a frosted back plate I'm just using the normal back plate um, just the normal one that it comes with but you can buy an extra frosted black plate which I do have uh, but this PCB doesn't have um, underglow lighting so there's no point me uh, using it and I don't really want it scratched either because frosted acrylic shows scratches pretty quickly like micro abrasions uh, we shall put some of the we'll put the switches in here as well since I'm using switches in this build and one two three four I've got five extra one of them's got pins missing uh, which I could maybe micro SMD solder onto it probably not Right, put some tools away. Just, tight, just tidying up a little bit so I can uh, keep that polar and everything. Oops, I left the uh, 6.25 uh, spacebar out. Is this a 7U spacebar? Like, the only time I've ever used this 7 new space bar is for HHKB. That's it, I've never used it for anything else. Like, I know, I, you know, you can get like 8 new space bars and even 10 new space bars, but I feel like it's just crazy. Right. Um. Have a look. I need to uh, install the IA. I just haven't, I just didn't install it before. We're setting up Alice. Device is ready. Alright. Yeah, we'll go. So we'll do key tester. Um, we need to turn on the um need to configure it, but come on. Let's get off that. Oh, yeah. Me, me here at this time tomorrow. There's something you need to know. Yeah, I need to reset that because I, I want the layout. I need to change the layout, but I, can't I haven't used VIA in a heck of a long time. Now I did know this PC but worked before because obviously I, before I put this in here I checked it. 
Yes, D, W, F, G, G, H, J, K, L. That Rattly space bar actually is getting on my nerves. Let's see, there isn't a, like a, a, a window, like stuff like that. Cool. All, all sorted. Page up, page down, escape. All done. Function F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, cool. All done. Find, find some uh, nice I like this one because the uh, Bitwit uses this one. Where is it? We're playing Christmas music again, apparently. So, uh, we will try and get a, we'll try and get a picture of this for uh, the thumbnail. Uh, what should we do? Should we do it like? Get, get that out of the picture. There we go. So there is that. It is a lovely uh, Alice uh, by Switch Couture. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing, actually, I didn't realise it would take uh, this long because... Uh, done much to because uh, I had to dismantle this one so what I'm gonna do is I think um, I'm gonna end stream in a moment and I think I am going to um, I'm not sure if I want to um, I think I might just chill out for a bit and uh, not stream on um, my gaming page today on Facebook which is fb.gg slash rathox r-i-t-h-o-x same as there the YouTube but uh, I've got a nice, I've got a nice grey cable here as well. But uh, this is pretty uh, much done. This one's pretty much done. I'm doing a sponsored build for Keygem um, in the next week or so. I don't have the full time limit on that. Um, shipping with COVID and everything. But I'm not going to tell you what we're doing for it. It's pretty. All I can tell you is I'm using Novel Keys um, creams. Uh, but that's it. It's, it's all hush hush. Not telling you what it's gonna be. But uh, I thank you everyone that has uh, watched. Um, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a nice uh, about two and a half hour stream. So it's it's been chill, and uh, I got a I got a nice grey cable. Actually, this funny enough, this grey cable is just a mobile phone cable. Um, I got it for um, just to change from the the mass drop one which i didn't like it was like um just rubber well this is braided uh but i need to get a coiled um a coiled pink and uh white cable for this uh alice but thank you everyone that's watched don't forget um my links are in the description for um because this is actually going to turn into a video after this so there is links in the description uh for key gem uh, there's the key dot company. Uh, I do have a three percent uh, discount code at KeyGem. It's Rath, just R A T H. That's all. And uh, yeah, all my socials are in the description. And I'll see you guys in another uh, build stream or over on my uh, Facebook gaming page where I do uh, gaming all the time.